Hey guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. Got to talk to you about this. Happy Saturday for a change, huh? Good couple of tea. Woo. Very nice. So, we're going to talk about this. Coffee shops. Why in this pandemic there were so many coffee shops uh, keen? Why was there so many? People want to know. Well... <clears throat> This is why, you dum-dums. Nah, I'm only joking. This is the only reason why, right? The people that we were in <clears throat> financial trouble, basically. And they looked at the doors like, okay, if you made this there, or, or even if you were high up in a company there, and you're looking like, oh, people, oh, I need to make... <sighs> Six to seven euro there, so I need money. I need absolute money. I need freaking money there, you know. I get like it's not much of the dole there, like you know what I mean. Like trying to manage the house, trying to manage there. I know, I know the mortgage is, is on pause, but still, though, there, you know, it's absolutely crap, it is. There. So what do these smart people do? Those people that were <coughs> were unemployed, yeah, they actually thought really, really freaking smart. They're saying, hmm, wait, in this pandemic, right, that we had, right, yeah, I opened up my own coffee shop. They're not like a real one there, like, as in, like, looking up the stock market and where we are in finance and all that. Yuck. No. They just did a uh, nice handy one. Okay, people go walk around here all the time there. I'm going to just open it up here now. Right here. This is my um stand. And um, I'm going to sell coffee. There. Biscuits. There. Little sandwich maybes. There like that. And then basically give them to people then. So hopefully it goes well, hopefully now, hopefully now, I opened my own little uh, company there with COVID, now hopefully now, I'll be making proper, um, good old, um, paychecks coming in, in the door with this COVID shenanigans, shite bollocks, so, would you look at that, I made a fortune, and hey, hey, Keen, um, he mentioned, um, do they actually, um, pay, um, tax on, on that, um, Keen, no, nope, they would only literally be already on the door already, right? Yeah. And then still own a coffee shop there. Not like an actual shop or a building or anything there. Just like from their van or from their holiday in home. You know what I mean? One of those holiday home, mobile homes, if you want to call it there. Around the place there. Opening up their little cafe there like that. P people sitting outside. Maybe there, you know what I mean? There or just like getting the cash in there. It's like, oh, plenty of dough, plenty of dough. Now we're fucking cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're making money. There. Oh, and plus your ordinary old L dole as well. Yes. In my back pocket, I'm freaking laughing. I am. None on the books. Really? Duh. And then that's how they did it because the dole, w w the dole can't catch you when you're literally have. Getting cash in hand. Because it's not through the books. If it's through the books, then... Catch ya, red-handed. Ah, crap. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get ya. And also, taxi drivers, yeah, were unemployed as well in the pandemic. That's true, actually. There was actually quite less, actually, um, taxi drivers around the place. Exactly. So what did they do, uh, Keen? So they literally then, what did they do? Deliveries. Deliveries? For what? Like, basically, from Amazon, basically. There, right? Amazon hired piles and piles of delivery people there. Even from delivery men from Boohoo there and FedEx there and other delivery drivers that I probably haven't even heard of yet. Or Oops, maybe as well. Oops, whatever it's called. There as well. They have loads of people on the roads 
they're posting it just like literally just getting a van renting out the van there that i could say your car on the van there like that and then literally then there's your box there i'm making money now <sighs> like that just like door to door easy money like that ah now we're freaking cooking there doesn't matter now i'm not sitting at home there worried about shit anymore i'm literally working making the dough basically And that's how they do it there, you know, in this pandemic. And that's what they have been doing and are been doing there, you know. Well, that's amazing. Yep, it has been there. Oh, so they're actually on like proper, like, well, they're on like decent enough wage anyway. There, if it's good enough for extra delivery drivers going around the place there in a simple little car there like that, I presume they're on a, pretty good wage than the dole to be fair yeah that's fair actually exactly you know so where else uh keen is there any people um there doing simple old jobs there in this pandemic um I'm trying to think now there's probably some people that opened up their own barber there in their house they're like hey come into my house right and um tell your college mates or your your um secondary school mates here i'll cut your hair i know how to do it like back on sides and top done for you there you be fresh like honestly okay 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 i open my little business but don't tell anyone right no one on the books and then bam would you look at that yes thank you thanks you <sighs> that goes in my back pocket there now oh yeah ah that's the good stuff oh, thank you yep yeah, hair's done how do you like it good yes brilliant stuff there matter the fuck plenty of dough 15 euro per haircut. They'll probably charge a bit more than that. To be fair with you. Because they want it nice and good. For the girlfriend. For the boyfriend. The wife may be there. I don't know. For a big L meeting. There. Like that. Today's news. This is politics now. Oh I love your hairdo. How would you get your haircut there? Oh I know a fella that, there. That cut me hair there. One of the college lads cut it for me there. Nice job on yeah, as yeah, she was now. Right, back to business. I say, like, Jesus, that's mad. Yep, it has been. What how do you think people actually um cut uh, people's hair in mint conditioned neat tidy style? Basically. You know? They probably women probably had their own um oh can you get my nails done there? It's like actually yeah, just visit my house there, you know where it is there, right? But, like, I'm actually closed for business. But, like, if you just ring me there, just come to my house. There, like that. My mom will answer the door. There. And then they just walk in there. It's like, yeah, I'll do your nails there. I'll polish them nice and clean there. I'll put little um, stamps on your... The same as normal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand. Just be there f 10 a.m. I'll be there. And then, bam, would you look at that? Then another client comes in. Yeah, can you do my nails there? They're a bit rusty. Yeah, yeah, no problem. That's 50 euro all together. It's like, jeez, that's nothing that I couldn't get anywhere there specially done. That's freaking worth it. I was like, thank you. Much appreciated. There. And it's just like, what the hell? That's mad. It's like, it's not even the, like the actual company or anything there. Do you not put it up on Facebook or Instagram there? They're just telling people about their haircut. They're like, yeah, I, I'll cut your hair there, no problem, mint conditioned, tidy, neat, out the door you go there, 20 quid in my back pocket, laughing, you know what I mean, yeah, that's actually class, yep, it has, what else is there, then there's probably a few people that are hopping in their vans, doing gardening uh, work now, because it's coming up to summertime there, like that, they probably won't even trust anyone else to come in then, they just probably get someone uh, cheapish, to come in there because if they're low if the people are low on wages they're like that say ah you're looking at just five euro there or uh, three euro there to, just to cut your grass like, oh cool far away there's the front garden there's the back garden there off you go chop chop thank you man appreciate it it's like ah that bother see like, he's doing it there oh yeah i used to be cutting grass but i'm low on my wages there, so he's doing it for me, or she's doing it for me. It's absolutely amazing. This there, oh, he's trimming down my bushes, tree bushes as well. Brilliant! I am so happy. 
like that as it's like anything for cash there like that none on the books there whatsoever as it's like that's amazing it's like yep and then the proper people that were struggling like carpenters proper diy people painters there the guys that clean out the gutters and all clean the gutters there or even window cleaners there like that they were out of business there or maybe not even the window cleaners sorry they could be actually in business because actually yeah actually would you mind clean my windows take all the covid gunk off my windows yeah thanks because i think it's in the air Well, they actually think that keen. Yeah. Some some families think it's actually... Par family parents are actually think it is actually in the air. What do you think they go walking around the street like this? <sighs> Rock that safe we yeah. are. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. And even though when they're at home, even they have no mask on them. It's like... You're just making a dramatic scene all over the place. There, you know? Even when there's no one around during the week... There and they're all in at home in one room there on the computer doing getting my wages. Yeah. Meeting today at two. Yeah, I'm on it. Ah, what a great day. Ah, every day is a Sunday. Ooh. And then oh cover the yeah, I forgot about that. Like that, Jesus. That's other family people are like that. Why? Even though they go at home there with no mask, no nothing on them there, sleeping with their wife, sleeping with their child until they go to sleep like you know what I mean? Anyway, that's basically it and I'll see you in the next video.